Hi, my name's Grant. I'm from Schwalbe Tires UK. I've been with the company seven years and you may have seen me at some of the races and events across the UK. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few examples and hopefully clear up some confusion around tire and wheel sizing. To show you an example here, I have a 28 by one and a half. A 27 by one and a quarter. and a 28 by 1.4. The 28 by one and a half being the largest size, followed by the 27 by one and a quarter. To add confusion to the sizing, the 28 by 1.4 is actually smaller than the 27 by one and a quarter. The differences with these sizing is based on heritage bikes. Back when the external diameter of the tire was important to the brakes that were used on those bikes. To remove confusion, we suggest you use the ETRTO sizing, which is clearly displayed on the tire here. The last three digits refer to the internal diameter of the rim. And as you can see here, as the sizing goes, the ETRTO sizing goes up. With the 37622 tire, the 37 refers to the width of the tyre, and the 622 is the internal diameter of the tyre. A slightly silly example, but something that will show you how the sizing does work the same. We have a 29 inch mountain bike tyre on a Rode 700C rim. Both are 622, showing the same internal diameter to show that they will fit. I had an example recently with a customer where they wanted a marathon efficiency tire and saw that it was only listed as a 28 inch but wanted it for their 29 inch bike. Again, these are both 6.2 toe tires and will fit. In this animation, we can see that we get the 6.2.2 measurement with a tire from the internal bead to bead distance. When measuring a rim, we get the 6.2.2 measurement by measuring the internal diameter of the rim's well. A question we often get asked, and understandably can be quite confusing, is the difference between a 700 by 38 C and a 40 622 tire. These are both the same size tire. The 38 C is an older French sizing, and the 40 refers to a 40 millimeter width of the tire, and the 622 referring to the internal width of the tire. So the next time you're looking for new tires or confused about sizing, just refer to the sizing that's already printed on your tire, which is here. The first two digits referring to the width of the tire, whilst the next three digits referring to the internal diameter of the rim.